and welcome to another Wild for Woodpeckers video, presented by the Weaselhead Glenmore Park Preservation Society. In our previous videos, we learned about what species of woodpeckers you can find in the Weaselhead, how to identify them, signs of woodpeckers, and some adaptations that protect their brains and allow them to hammer away at wood to find food. For this video, we went out to the Weaselhead with one of our naturalists, Zach, who is going to share some more fascinating woodpecker adaptations with us. Similar to all birds, woodpeckers have a spine, rib cages, and a keeled sternum. The keeled sternum is extra bone that birds have that allows more muscles to latch onto their chest that helps with flying. So what's different from woodpeckers from other birds is that woodpeckers have a bigger second and third rib. So that's the cervical rib and the thoracic rib. So when they spend time on vertical surfaces like trees, they have the strength in their neck to, to drop at the wood. Other woodpeckers, like the northern flicker, which doesn't spend as much time on the vertical plane, second and third ribs aren't as pronounced because it spends more time on the ground eating insects. So what I mean about the vertical plane is that the woodpeckers are, are adapted to living on the trunk of a tree. The woodpecker's tongue not only protects its brain from impacts, but it's also really good at getting into the bark and catching insects. There's a lot of touch receptors on the tongue, similar to our hands that can help them catch prey on the inside of the trunk. So while we use our hands, they use their tongue to find their food. For soft-bodied insects, they have barbs on their tongue, which when it gets in the hole, it latches onto to them and it, they can get, pull them out. For insects with a harder exoskeleton like carpenter ants, they have sticky saliva. So once the, the tongue touches the insect, the carpenter ant, it can pull it back out. Another adaptation that the woodpecker has to stay on the vertical surface of a tree trunk is the opposing forces of its feet and its tail feathers. Its tail feather pushes towards the trunk, whereas its feet pushes away from the trunk. And those two forces together make it really easy for woodpeckers to live on the vertical surface of a tree trunk. The two largest feathers of the tail are called rectrices. They are strong feathers that help them anchor to the trunk. They're black in color. That's because they're made of the pigments called melanins, and that gives them a lot of structure and strength. Most birds have zygodactyl feet. That means that two toes point forward and two toes point backwards. What's cool about woodpeckers is that when they hop from a branch onto the vertical plane of a trunk, they can move one of their toes, their fourth toe, either sideways or forward. So that looks like there's three toes that are forward and one toe that's back. The toe that's back, that'll be their, their halux. Other woodpeckers can even move their halux sideways and forward as well. So that looks like all four of their toes are pointing forwards on the trunk. The birds are starting to come out in full force as many migratory species return or pass through these abundant wetlands. While you're in the park, remember that we share this space with wildlife and our actions can greatly affect their ability to find food, mates, take care of their young, and rest. Thank you for watching and check out our website, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more wildlife facts, upcoming events, webinars, and even some exciting volunteer opportunities. Bye-bye for now.